Well, hey guys, what's up? It's your boy, AI Legends, and yeah, guys, I'm finally back with the next part of what if Naruto was the reincarnation of Jiren and neglected by his family. So, without any further ado, let us start our video. But before starting this video, I would like to make a request to all of you guys who are watching this video to come on, guys, if you guys are new to this channel or if you guys have not subscribed yet, please, guys, do so. It will help me a lot as I want to reach 10k as quick as possible and it really, really helps me. So, that is that. So, without any further ado, let us start our video. Last time we left off, as we saw that how Naruto finally returned back to the village as everyone was really shocked to see him as all the council men as well as Minato and Kushina were really surprised as now it was time for the graduation exam which Minato allowed to Naruto so that he can actually take part in the graduation exam as everyone was expecting Naruto to not do that well after all he never had any shinobi training and Minato was wondering how did Naruto even survive all of this time and was able to escape all of his ambu as well as the squad he actually sent and they were never able to find Naruto he even started to think if Naruto had died out there or had kidnapped by some other village but that was not the case as Naruto did not give him much of the information whatsoever as Minato was even more guilty when Naruto told him that he will be willing to forgive all of them only if they can tell him one thing that what was his actually favorite food was beside ramen as Minato and Kushina tried to think of the moment which they spent with their son but they never get to know him anything as they did not even knew that Naruto liked the red color to begin with as it was really putting them in a state of guilt and disappointment in themselves while on the other hand Mina, Manma and Mito were in pure rage that their loser no good of a brother failure of a brother was their back as both of them were simply fuming in pure anger as Naruto did the best out there even you can say angering Sasuke as Sasuke was the best friend and rival with Manma and also had a twin sister known as Kiyomi but he was she was not liked by the clan because Fugaku never wanted a girl so he was not happy at her birth and did not pay her any money while on the other hand Itachi loved her you can say loved his little sister as well as brother though he loved Kiyomi more because of her attitude and wanted to learn more not you can say more like Uchiha's while on the other hand Sasuke was the carbon copy of Fugaku much more arrogant and Hinata here is more like Road to Ninja if you guys have seen that movie in which as Hinata is like that as she easily defeated Ino and so that is that in the end Naruto fought with Menma and Nar Menma mocked him that how he's a loser running from his all of his problems even run from the home when he was not able to take it anymore as Naruto grated his teeth as he punched Menma so hard sending him flying outside of the building breaking through several homes houses that were nearby and slamming him into a big wall almost shattering it it was only the night as chakra cloak that was around him was able to protect him and Tsunade started to heal Menma as after one day a full rest and whole healing from Tsunade he was finally able to wake up so without any further ado let us start our video from here on as Minato Kushina Jiraiya and Tsunade were around Menma along with Mito as Menma woke up as he said damn it my head hurts as he opened his eyes to look around to see all of them were simply staring at him as Manma as all the memories started to rush in the head of Manma as he grated his teeth as he said that damn loser how dare he to touch me as I'm going to beat him to a bloody pulp as he started to say that as Minato said all right Manma calm down now as Mito said as Mito said but dad how dare he to touch Menma you know that he's just a loser right as Kushina said that is enough both of you as both of them look towards Kushina who had anger in her eyes as he glared at Menma Menma I had everything you said to Naruto when he entered in that ring as and how dare you he's your brother and it is your own fault you are in this hospital you angered him enough after knowing that he was stronger than you as Menma grated he's not stronger than me He's nothing but a loser and the child of prophecy as Kushina Sai. All right, Menma, be done with this stuff of child of prophecy. I don't even believe this prophecy anymore as Jiraiya step in. All right, Kushina, that is more than enough. Menma, you should take some rest now and don't worry about him. In time, you did not even use your full strength, right? And Naruto is nothing. Just forget him. As Menma created his seat, don't worry, Jiraiya Sensei. I will get back at that loser as Minato and Kushina had a disappointment in look in their eyes as this was 
you can say when they looked towards Mito, anger was simply in her eyes as well. They could not understand what was the reason, what does make both of them hate their brother so much. But they cannot understand it as Minato said, Alright Jiraiya sensei, come with me, we have something to talk about. As Minato gave Jiraiya a look, which told Jiraiya that it was something serious as Minato flashed with Jiraiya, Kushina and Tsunade back as Menma was making plans how to make Naruto suffer for this humiliation he put him through. And now, on the other hand, Naruto was in his room meditating and doing his own stuff. Now, we have a small timescape of the next day as it is going to be the team selection day. As Kushina had asked Minato that she wants Naruto in her team but Minato told her that how it is not possible as even though Naruto had the top score in the graduation exam but still he was placed as a dead last and could not be placed with you as she only sighed at that. But Minato told him that how he was not definitely placed at the dead last because most of the students even though they attended academy all this year still had less marks than him since the graduation exam placed off 60% of the marks and there were students who even got 50 like Kiba and all. So Naruto is in the you can say middle range and by all accords he could not be placed under her squad if she wants one that is as Kushina Sai already knowing that and now it's about time for the you can say team selection day as Naruto was there wondering who is sensei actually going to be not even caring because most of the people here do not even know how his powers actually work so he just want to get rid of these stupid things and become a Jonin or right so that he could do more dangerous mission, at least have some form of entertainment in this stupid and weak world as he was wondering all of this in his mind. As Aruka said, alright class settle down now as no one was listening to Aruka as he said oh what shut up with his big head Chusu as everyone shut up and looked towards Aruka while on the other hand Menma and Mito was simply glaring at Naruto, even Sasuke and Kiba were simply glaring at him, Kiba because he was placed at the dead loss as he thought that how Naruto came late so he should be placed at that loss but Naruto got all the 60% marks that were composed of the graduation exam as Kiba was behind Naruto and many other students were also there, some of the most of the civilians but as Kiba was very angry about the whole situation, he was the alpha male, how dare they sweep it to annoy him this much. Well, he did not pay it any mind, but he was beyond angry when he saw a specific girl which he had a crush on, none other than Kyomi Uchiha, took a seat beside Naruto, but Naruto did not pay her any mind as he was pretty angry about it, as he was about to go storm there and told this brat that how strong he actually is and he's the alpha male in this class, but Iruka arrived as Kiba did not saw the fight between Naruto and Menma because he was knocked out after fighting Sasuke. So that is that. So let us let us go. As Ruka said, all right class, today it seems to be the last day you guys have at this academy as everyone was cheering at that as Ruka put a hand towards them. All right, stop it. Well, I was saying that how I'm so proud of all of you and how all of my class has finally passed and become Ganes as he was thinking, I'm going to rub this on the faces of other academy teachers with a chuckle as he said, well, I was saying that how proud I actually am at every one of you and remember that the shinobi world is a dangerous world and be careful out there and these are my last words to you and I hope that you guys all will be able to survive out there because you know the shinobi world is not a nice place to live in as everyone was silent at that as Ruka had a smile but don't worry you guys will become strong I totally believe in all of you so here we go the team selection has finally done as team started to say as I said team 7 yet led by Kushina Uzumaki and Kakashi Hatage will be composed of Menma Uzumaki Namakaze, Mito Uzumaki Namakaze, Sasuke Uchiha. As Sasuke's eyes widened as he created his teeth already knowing that his brother was going to be a teacher this year but he was not placed in the Itachi squad as he said but he was a bit happy that he was with his rival Menma but not so happy that he was not with his brother and the next member is going to be Kiba Inuzuka and Sakura Haruno as Sakura was chaining out of her mind as Nito was simply looking towards Menma who was pretty really happy that his mother is going to be the one to teaching him as he said alright team 13 as all the teams simply goes the same and now it's about time as he said team 13 it is going to be Shino Aburame Kyumi Uchiha and 
Naruto, the Grey, led by, hmm, what is this? Itachi Uchiha. As this shook everyone, already knowing the reputation of the prodigy of the Uchiha clan, which was not seen in generations. As Sasuke's eyes widened as he grated his teeth, his stupid, his loser of a sister, God, his brother, his brother as a sensei, as he was in pure rage, and on top of it, that new kid who arrived out of nowhere and took the best seat there as he was thinking the graduation exam as he was nowhere near the level of Naruto and he knew it as when Menma used the, that red chakra he Sasuke was not able to keep up even with his using the Sharingan but still as he gritted his teeth at all of this as he was really really angry while on the other hand Menma did not care about it though he did had a crush on Kiyomi but right now his anger was overpowering that of you can say crush as Naruto as he looking he was looking towards Naruto and glaring at him as when Naruto he was just ignoring his tiny bit of bloodlust that was radiating towards him as Naruto simply sighed not caring who this Itachi guy is to begin with after all he is nothing compared to him right as well you guys will see in the near future that is now let us start our video from here on as after some time Itachi arrived within the room as he looked towards the kids and said alright team 13 follow me to the team 13 training ground as he burst into crows as Kyomi Sai his brother her brother always do that as not only you can say moved and said alright come with me as the Shino also agree as they started to walk as Naruto looked towards his team, wondering what type of power that they do these people actually possess, already knowing that their power level is pretty low compared to him. But there are other abilities which can compensate for the power level, like things. As Kyomi, you can say she was pretty strong, perhaps the strongest Konoichi in the whole academy. As he was glad that it was not that Sakura or Ino girl, as Ino was simply, you can say, with hearts in her eyes, looking towards Naruto and many other girls, as he was pretty relieved that. Kyomi was a bit different, though he did notice a small blush she had when Naruto actually removed his hood first time in the academy, but he did not pay it any mind, while on the other hand this Shino guy seems a bit mysterious but still interesting at the same time. So he will see in the near future, as Kyomi said, well first we like to, we should introduce ourselves, after all we are going to, be going to become a team right? As Naruto nodded along with Shino, as Shino said, well my name is Shino Aburame, I like bugs. As Kyomi smiled and said, well, my name is Kyomi Uchiha and I like, hmm, I like buns. As Naruto raised an eyebrow, but he did not say anything as he said, well, my name is Naruto, Naruto the Grey and I only like strength. As Kyomi looked towards him and said, well, aren't you the son of Fort Hokage and the sibling of Menma and Mito? As Naruto pay, not, did not pay it any mind as he simply scoffed at that, well, there are no family of mine as Kyomi said hmm well if you say so a bit confused about the situation as Naruto did not like to elaborate about it as he said well it does not matter we should go to training ground 13 right as Kyomi nodded well I know where that is as Naruto said alright lead the way as she started to follow as all of them simply rushed towards the training ground 13 and finally arrived at the same time as Sasuke as Mitachi was waiting patiently as he looked towards them and said hmm so you guys are finally here, well that is interesting, as he looked towards them and said well maybe we should introduce ourselves after all we are going to become a team as Kyomi only smiled uh, at that as then she knows as all the introduction still goes the same just like I said it a moment ago as then Itachi nodded and said alright we are going to have let's see a training exercise or rather a test I will do this test and those who will pass only become Ganis and others will go back to the academy. This really shook everyone. As Naruto did not show any outward re reaction at that, he was wondering what this guy was playing at. As Itachi bring out two bells and said, well, you guys have to take this bell from me. If you guys are able to do that, then you guys will pass. And the one who will not get a bell at the noon will go back to the academy. This really surprises everyone. As Kyumi said, but Itachi Nisa, there is never a team of two j Janins and one Jonin, right? As Itachi looked towards her sis his sister, after all, she was so innocent but at the same time smart. 
Uh, he simply shook his head. Well, Kiyomi, this is a new rule. Lying. As their faces, as with his stoic voice, as Shino started to wonder, as Naruto was also wondering the same thing, but he did not pay it any mind if he has to just get this badge, and so he will be done with it as soon as possible. As Itachi said, All right, you guys can move now, and your time starts now. As all of them started to move, as Itachi before they went, All right, just so you guys have a, an advantage, I'll be doing this. As he put a, one hand behind him, I will not be using this hand, only one hand, and you guys can do whatever you want, but you guys have to come at me with the intention to kill, otherwise you will not be able to do anything. As Naruto had an anger look in his eyes, this guy, whoever he is, Itachi Uchiha or not, a Jonin or not, a Kage or not, no one is going to underestimate him. Giving him a handicap was an insult to his pride. And he said, hmm, as Shino said, alright, let's go. As they move a bit different, you can say, towards Naruto, who was standing a bit beside. As Shino said, well, guys, I don't think that. This is, I think that it's a trick. As Kiyomi looked towards him, what do you mean by that? As a bit innocently, as Shino started to explain that how it is always a three-man team and it seems like a test for the teamwork as he is trying to split us. As Naruto only looked towards them for a moment. As a scarf, as that, all right, you guys can go. If the opportunity presents, take the best because I'm going to take this guy on. As Kimi said, What? What are you talking about? My brother is an elite Jonin, a project prodigy at using the shotting gun. As Naruto said, Well, I do not care. As he started to walk towards Itachi, as Kiyomi was about to stop him, but Shino said, Let it be. Let him distract him, and then when the, when the opportunity presents, we will also come and work as a team. As Kyomi nodded and then dashes into the forest, as Itachi was pretty intrigued. He heard one or two things about the scare, but not that much. As well as he saw him flying and all, it could be a great advantage that not the good hat within the battle flying away was always something that Shinobi always wanted to do, but. Again, if all of them had it, then it would have been nothing special to begin with. As Itachi said, Hmm, so Naruto-san, I have seen you in the academy as well as I have seen your power. It was really impressive. But do you actually think you can take... But before he could complete his sentence, not to blurt out of his side, as Itachi's eyes widened, it was only because he had activated already, at the blink of the second, activated three Tomoe Sharingan. He was able to dodge the attack, but the shock wave still stand him flying, as Naruto slammed his face into the ground, making a large crater there, as Kiyomi, as Shino's eyes widened, if you can see the eyes of Shino, that is, as Itachi's eyes widened, as he said, what? I barely saw him move. As Naruto looked towards Itachi, who still had his hand behind him locked up in a small lock, which Itachi placed there just in case to show them how serious he actually was. As Naruto looked towards Itachi and said, Hmm, do you honestly think that you are that arrogant? Then you think that you can take me on with that handicap? This is an insult to my pride that someone give me a handicap. As Itachi was looking towards Naruto, as Naruto has pure anger in his eyes, I will make you regret that you have to use only one hand here, Uchiha Itachi. Prodigy or not, I'm going to beat your ass to the ground right here and right now. As Itachi simply gulped at that, as he tried to put Naruto in against Yoso, but it shattered the moment as he put Naruto in. in. As Itachi was pretty confused, as he was against Yoso master, there should be no one who can, who he cannot put in against Yoso other than the other manga Kyo users or the Rinnegan user if there is any. As Naruto burst out of his side once again as Itachi was trying his best to keep up here as he could not even believe it. Naruto's head was like hammers on his arm, a single arm which he was using at defending and attacking and his legs to attack but all the attacks which he delivered at Naruto was simply dodged or did not, he did not even pay it any mind as Naruto was now moving with ferocity as Itachi at a blink of a second when he saw the amount of power that was behind him he activated his Mangekyou Sharingan as a Susanoo ribcage form as Itachi formed it as his side but the heat simply shattered you can say the 
whole skeleton that was around him, not completely, but the cracks were simply formed at Susano. As Sasuke, as Itachi's eyes widened, this kid has strength beyond that of Tsunade, and it seemed that he was actually trying to kill him. As Itachi could not take it anymore, as he quickly goes through hand sign and said, Fire style, good fireball, Chusu. As a big fireball rushed towards Naruto, as Naruto only looked towards the fire, as it distinguished into nothingness as Itachi moved back as he said what what did he do to my fire as Naruto appeared behind him well just what I'm about to do to you as Itachi's eyes widened as he barely dug under a kick which was about to slam at his foot but the shockwave which released from the attack of Naruto moving his leg still sent Itachi rolling away as Itachi was now standing his eyes a bit bleeding thanks to using the Susanoo at such level as he sighed and said, this kid, who is he? He's already a caged devil shinobi. As Itachi was now huffing and puffing, this kid was overpowered. He was a kage, no even above that of a kage level. And there was something telling him that he was not even using a fraction of his power. As Naruto said, come now, Itachi sensei. I thought you were going to use a single hand. As Itachi saw that how he... He unknowingly had destroyed the lock which he placed there and now had used several chutsus while using both of his arms as Itachi said, hmm, in the shinobi world there are no laws. As, as he was thinking, damn it, this kid was able to make me use both of my arm and even the monkey you sharing gun, just who is he? No, I cannot take him on physically, I have to put him in my strongest genjutsu, alright, I cannot use Amaterasu on him, but still, I can use the Tsukiyomi, as he looked towards Naruto, as Naruto was looking directly into the eyes of Itachi, as Itachi said, yes Naruto, that's right, as he then shifted his eyes once again to the Mangekyo Sharingan, as Naruto saw the whole world started to shift, as he could feel his consciousness was pulled into a, another dimension as he let it happen as he was now tied to a poop as as he was tied to a log as he looked around as there was a red moon above him as every as it was a dark red world as well as black as blood was everywhere and then a single person started to walk up to him as it was none other than Itachi as Naruto looked towards him blankly and said hmm so this is your strongest genjutsu if I'm not mistaken huh as Itachi I looked towards Naruto hmm Naruto Naruto san I have many questions to ask you first of all how did you get all of this strength and how is that you're this strong already and Naruto simply looked towards him. Well, my strength comes from my determination and my training. But if you are wondering about how strong I actually am, then I would say <laughs> the strongest in the world. As Itachi thought it for some time and said, Well, Naruto kun, it seems that I cannot take you on physically. Your strength is way too much for me to handle. Even with my Susano, though I thought it was not possible, but you still, you are able to crack it. That is really some saying something. So, I'm going to beat you here. This is my world. I control everything here. Time moves differently. So, only 3 seconds will pass in the outside world where here 2 days will pass and I will be able to break you down in this time. As Naruto said, oh really now? Try it again, huh? As Itachi said, well, I will. As a big fireball then started to come towards Naruto with incredible speed as Naruto looked towards the fire as he could feel the heat. As Naruto only smirked as the fireball exploded on him. As Itachi thought that Naruto would be on the ground now, huffing and puffing, but he saw that lock was simply burned off as Naruto was still standing there. And then Itachi narrowed his eyes. Naruto did not even move. It seemed that his will was way too strong. And then Itachi nodded, and then several chains burst from the ground, wrapping all around Naruto once again. As Naruto said, hmm, to be honest, Itachi sensei, I was going to go easy on you, but it's about time that. I got rid of you, as it is getting a bit troublesome here, as I don't like this area, as it actually raised an eyebrow, well Naruto-san, you are definitely strong, but do you honestly think that you can break my strongest Genjutsu, perhaps you don't know, but I am one of the strongest Genjutsu users in the whole world, and this is the strongest Genjutsu of the Mangekyo Sharingan known as the Tsukiyomi, it cannot be break, but before he could complete a sentence. A aura started to radiate from Naruto's body in the outside world. Naruto's body started to glow with the red aura all around. As Naruto said, huh, the strongest you say? Well, perhaps you did not knew the strongest title only belongs to me. As he flared his key and chakra all around his body as it enveloped like 
lava like state as it burst his aura so much as the whole world of Sukiyomi started to shatter while in the outside world all the you can say whole area simply was shaking with enormous power as Itachi's eyes widened as whole world of Tsukiyomi simply shattered as he, Itachi tried his best to keep the Genjutsu there but it was to no avail as he was simply shattered into pieces and now he was standing in front of Naruto whose body was enveloped in a fire-like aura as Naruto said see you soon Itachi sensei as he moved a single finger towards Itachi there was something telling Itachi to protect himself now as he quickly activated the rib cage of Susanoo but it was too late as Naruto flipped his finger and then an invisible force smashed into the Susanoo as Itachi's eyes widened as whole Susanoo simply shattered into pieces and the force sent Itachi flying into the trees knocking him out while on the other hand Shino and Kiyomi's eyes were simply widened as their jaw was simply hitting the ground while beside everyone as one person was watching this in utter shock this was none other than Shisui Uchiha the one who put the Uchiha clan in the Genjutsu so that they can never go rebel against Konoha especially Fugaku as his jaw was hitting the ground he just arrived here to see the team which Itachi pick on as wanted to see how strong they actually are and the rumors about this new kid but what he was saying here it was like a Genjutsu as he was thinking if some enemy has put him in a Genjutsu or not but this was impossible right that was the Susanoo and Itachi Itachi out of all people forced to use it as he even saw when Itachi put that gate in the Tsukiyomi he can easily tell it but he broke it as it should not be possible who is this kid as Itachi was now unconscious as Naruto simply went up to him and got both of the bells and throw it at Kiyomi and Shino as both of them caught it as Kiyomi arrived big brother as he rushed towards Itachi seeing that how he was not that badly injured but mostly his eyes were bleeding a little and knocked out as Naruto said don't worry I did not beat him that bad he's just unconscious out of chakra could be as Shino simply looked towards Naruto with the calculative looks as his bugs were telling him that his power was something cannot be drained and dangerous in his own sense but at the same time natural as Shino said, well Naruto-san, I did not knew that you were this strong, defeating our Jonin sensei. I think that you are misfit in a Ganon squad, you should already be, be a elite Jonin. As Kiyomi looked towards Naruto, as he said, how are you this strong? My Nisan is a elite Jonin of Konoha, he should not be defeated that easily, not even Hokage can defeat him this easily. As then, a person arrived as he said well Itachi is the strongest shinobi in the Konoha at the moment that is as all of them looked back to see Shisui as Shisui only smiled at Kiyomi as Kiyomi said Shisui Nisa as Shisui said don't worry I will take him to the hospital as Shisui looked towards Naruto as he said well to be honest I was not expecting that someone is this strong to take out Itachi that easily even I would have trouble with him well that is really a surprise but don't worry Kiyomi, I'll be taking him to the hospital, so I will rub it on his face later, thinking back at back of his mind. As he looked towards Naruto with calculated eyes, this kid was strong but not evil at the same time, arrogant possibly, but had the strength to back it up. Though, he was wondering if he could join Itachi as his Jonin sensei, but he doubted that Hokage will allow it. But stay, he would love to see how strong this kid actually is going to be it seems that they have another generational genius standing here as he simply took itachi and went back to the hospital as itachi wake up in the way hmm, did you saw that huh as she says that well to be honest i saw your ass being kicked by ganin as she sees as then well guys sorry for the disturbance as there are guests has arrived to my home so that's the main reason as there are kids and you know they always make noises so that is that as i was saying as she said well how are you going to explain this to the hokage they will always make fun of you as itachi sighed and said well don't worry i have a day after all we have to give our report and took the test the tomorrow but i took it today so i will it seems that i will have to take a lot of rest as itachi simply sighed now we have a time skip of the next day as all the jonin senseis were simply standing in front of minato as well as Jiraiya and Tsunade were also there as Tado Kage who has just arrived back from his picnic with his grandson from the Daniels you can say 
mention as he was also sitting in the office pretty intrigued about the new situation at the next generation of the heirs of several clans as the Jonins were simply giving the report that how they have failed their teams and now it is about team Asuma as he said well team Asuma passed as next team it was team Kushina as Kushina had a smile and said well team Kushina passed as Kakashi also was there as he only gave a smile to Minato as Minato smiled back well he was expecting good from his both son and daughter though he had to ask about the Uchiha as well as that Haruno girl as, Sa as Kushina only called and said well the you know Sakura is not that interested in the shinobi arts it seems that she's more fond over Sasuke and all well she did not did much good but same could be said for Menma and Mito as they tried to use Sakura to get the bells but in the end they still were able to pass the second test when we tie down Sakura as you can say that Kiba was finally able to give her some food and then Sasuke and then Menma and Mito were also able to give her some food so yeah that is that as Minato Sai already knowing that as he then looked towards Itachi who seems to be you can say out of it a bit as, as Minato said and about you Itachi what about your team as Itachi looked towards Minato for some time and said well Lord Hokage I can give you my report but that would be troublesome as he said well my team passed it does pass but I have many things to say which I cannot say right now as here in this room there are many Jonins as he gave Minato a look that he wants to talk privately as Minato nodded as he said alright you guys are dispatched you guys can go as all the Jonins simply went off as Jiraiya and Tsunade were still there as well as Hedokage as Kushina decided to stay back as Minato looked towards Itachi so give me the proper reports Itachi as Itachi Sai do you trust these guys Lord Hokage no dis disrespect but it could be you can say fatal information about your son as Tsunada speaker don't worry Itachi we already know many things about the Vele so you can say things as Minato also agree with that as Itachi sighed and said well Lord Hokage I don't think that Naruto is fit to be a Ganin as Kushina gasped and said what do you mean by that Itachi he defeated Menma and he's pretty strong as but before she could say anything Itachi said well that is definitely the point lady Kushina Naruto is way too strong for a Ganin there's no way that he could be remained as a Ganin as a matter of fact I would dare say that he's a Kage level shinobi this shook everyone in the room as Tadokage said hmm what do you mean by that Itachi son as Itachi looks toward Tadokage well Lord Third, I took his exam and he take me on personally his physical strength is something that I would dare say could even rival Lady Tsunade but not only that he was able to break my Susano and can you even imagine he even made me force me to use Susano to protect myself this shocked everyone once again already knowing about the legends of the Susano of Madara Uchiha and they have already seen the Shisui's as well as Itachi's Susano and how strong it even is and Minato no even his Rasengan cannot break the Susano his prize Chusu as Jirai said what what are you talking about Itachi that brat is a Kage level shinobi are you out of your mind it seems that you're not ready to be a Joni yeah that could be the case as Sonari said hmm, his, his physical strength is something that I noticed myself I could say that he was holding back when he punched Menma but he did defeat him in a single punch when Menma was using almost the two tails chakra worth of the nine tails as Minato agree with that but explain thoroughly Itachi san as Itachi nodded at he started to explain well Lord Hokage the battle began as he became pretty angry when he told them that I am giving them a handicap by putting my hand behind him and locking it with a lock that I will not use it as he became pretty angry as telling me that it was a humiliation to him someone was giving him a handicap and it was against his pride and then he started to attack me I barely dodged the first one thanks to using my three Tomo Sharingan which I activated at the last moment but still the shockwave which did, which his punch produced still sent me flying and then I was able to you can say at the last moment was able to activate my Mangeku Sharingan and the 
Susano, when he saw the power that was behind his force and yeah, his punch and yeah, it was different. It was different than Chakra and I even put him under Sukiyomi as Kushina gasped and said, what? You put my baby boy into Sukiyomi as Itachi sighed and said, well, I did not torture him. I'm his sensei, you know, but still. He was able to break my Sukiyomi like it was nothing and there was a reddish aura around him. It was not the chakra of the nine tails because Naruto does not have anything to do with the nine tails but still it broke my Sukiyomi like nothing and in the last moment he only flipped his finger and a shockwave occurred which completely shattered my Susanoo and knocked me out. As everyone there was a silence whole silence in the room. No one knew what to say at that. These were the fields that none of them could dare achieve. Itachi was a solid s shinobi. While using his Mangekyou Sharingan, even Minato would have trouble going around his Susanoo. As Satokage said, said, so the kid is a Kage level shinobi, huh? As Kushina gasped at that, as Sunari said, hmm, that is really wording. As Jiraiya said, hmm. I still do not believe you, Itachi. These are things it is hard to believe, you know. But still, how did this kid got the strength? Could it be that he has joined secretly some different organization or some other village? As this could be it, Minato. We have to send him to IT department so that we can get all the information out of him. And how did he get so strong? We can use those training methods to train men by Mito, and they could be strong as but before he could say anything as everyone was giving him a look that as if he was crazy as them itachi nodded his head and said shook his head and said well lord jiraiya i must disagree with that as when i met with naruto when he was a kid there was always an aura around him which seems to be quite natural it seems that naruto has some type of kick again guy which allows him the supernatural strength and all this type of abilities and i have seen the both men and Mito with my monkey Kyo Sharingan as well. They do not have that power with them. So I don't think that both of them actually possess this strange Kekke Genkai of your clans. By looking towards men and Minato and Kushina, it could be that it could be the combination of your blood which bring about this new Kekke Genkai. But I do not know about anything. So I doubt that men and Mito could ever achieve this power as Jiraiya only scoffed at that, well Itachi, who, who are you to tell us that, it is it could be that they will awaken their bloodline at the later date, well Minato, I think that we should blood test both men and Mito and Naruto as well, as Minato sigh, he cannot disagree with that, after all, when the councilmen find out, they will be havoc in the council and he had to deal with all of it, so he had to ask Naruto for his blood, though it will even distant him from his son but he had to do it for the village sake as he nodded at that as he said well if this is the kk genkai then this will rule out the possibility of naruto joining some other village and coming here for some revenge which i heavily doubt jiraiya sensei and do not point out it again by giving jiraiya a look telling him that if he disagree he will regret it as jiraiya only nodded at that as Satokage nodded and said, well, I will have to meet the kid personally. To be honest, I was never able to meet him because I was at the Daimyel mansion along with Konohamru. As Minato nodded, as Satokage stood up as he went into the village. As Ambu landed beside Naruto and said, well, Naruto-sama, it seems that Lord Hokage wants to meet you. As Naruto looked towards the Ambu, as he simply nodded, as he simply vanished from the area, as he arrived in the Hokage's mansion, as he started to walk into the office, as Minato, along with Kushina, Tsunade, and Jiraiya were there, as Naruto looked around, as he said, hmm, so what do you want, Lord Hokage, as Minato looked towards Naruto and smiled and said, well, Naruto, I heard that you passed the exam of Itachi-san, which is really impressive, beating him as well. As Naruto looked towards Minato, still with the, you can say, I don't care look, as Minato laughed nervously and said, well, Naruto, I was wondering, what type of power do you actually possess, huh? As Naruto only looked towards him and said, so, now you're interested in your talentless kid, huh? Who does not even deserve to be, deserve to have the title of the either of the clans, huh? Hokage-sama, as... Minato only flinched at the name of Hokage-sama as Kushina also had a bit of skill as Tsunade arrived well Naruto. We were wondering if this is some new kind of Keke Genkai as Naruto looked towards Tsunade and then towards Jiraiya who was giving him a look as 
Naruto only ignored Jiraiya because he was just a weakling in his eyes and nothing more than that. As Naruto said, well, it could be a Kage Genkai if you want to put it that way. But if you want, I can give you a thorough explanation about it. As Tsunade smiled, well, of course, Naruto, we were thinking if you can give us a bit of blood of yours, we want to test it out and could we place it as a, you can say, official bloodline of the Konoha, but you have to explain it as well. As, Minato, as Naruto shrugged and said, well, I don't have any... You can say this Keke Genkai could be referred as Ki as Minato and everyone looked towards Naruto a bit confused as Naruto said well it is also a natural form of energy or it could be a energy only gifted to me and could be passed down to my descendant as well but not other shinobis actually possess it and I can tell you that because I can feel this kind of energy. And this is different from chakra. I do have chakra as well, but my key is more potent than my chakra. As I can, you can say, this allows me to fly, which you saw, and enhance my physical strength far greater than any amount of chakra could ever enhance any physical body. Even greater than your chakra can enhance your punch, Sunare. As Sunare, I is Naruto. Wondering if this kid was challenging her as Naruto said, well, I'm not challenging your power, but if you put too much chakra in your, you can say, hand, what will happen, Sunare? As Sunare said, well, chakra control is important, but even if I put too much chakra, it could hurt my hand. As Naruto said, definitely, while on the other hand, I can put far greater amount of my key into my hand and it will not affect me. Hardly, but if I were to put too much energy, this will happen. As a blast came into his hand, it will only direct it in the outward direction, not harming my body whatsoever. As Sunata gasped at that, and what is that, Naruto? As Naruto said, Well, this is something truly dangerous, which I cannot tell you now, but let's come here. As all of them started to move towards, you can say, the window. As Naruto pointed the blast into the direction of a forest as Naruto sensed some power there as there was no one as he blasted that attack towards that direction and then boom as the whole village shook for a moment and then there was a large crater there as everyone sensed the shock wave after that see that that happens when my key was blasted into a blast that is just a small blast I can make thousands of times stronger than that as Minato and everyone gasped at that as Jira was Jiraiya was in utter shock. He did not know what to say to this kid now. As not that see that, hmm, it is really impressive, is it not? From a talentless kid, not deserving of the name of the title of the clan heir, does it not, Minato, Kushina? As both of them only gasp at that. As Sonata said, well, Naruto, that is enough. So, how is that? You can tell that no one else has it. Your siblings could also have this cake again, guy. As not only scoff, as if. Those two idiots could ever have this kind of power. Hm. They can only rely on the power of the nine tails, which I'm telling you now, they're re relying too much on. As she said, well, I can sense the key in everyone. So I can tell there is no one who has this key. As for Manma and Mito, they can never have it. Do whatever the blood test you want to do. Here, have it. As not to cut his hand and then a bit of blood were to pour in a small bottle. As everyone saw his hand were to heal. In instant, as Naruto threw the bottle towards Tsunade, have it tested if you want to. And all that cake again kind of stuff, is it done? I have some other business to take care of. Being in this room suffocate me, as he simply started to walk back. As Jiraiya was wondering if Menma and Mito could have this kind of power, then they will be able to save the world way too easily. But it seems that he has to force Naruto to give this power to Menma and Mito. Or some way that Manma and Mito could also have this power as Minato and Kushina were pretty surprised and impressed as well as they were feeling dis depressed at the same time as Naruto was always taunting them, telling them that the one he they considered the reject of the clan was actually so strong that the clan itself was nothing compared to him. Okay guys, here I will leave this part. In the next part, we will cover the, you know, Zabuza arc and all those other arcs. So, I hope that you guys are enjoying this series because I always do. That is the main reason I always make video because I enjoy them making. Otherwise, I will not make them. So, that is that. So, yeah guys, peace.